iMac is a European project that is exploring how access services can be efficiently integrated with immersive media. To achieve this, the project is developing an end-to-end -end platform which includes the necessary components from media authoring to media consumption. A core component of the iMac platform is the player, as it is the interface through which end users will consume the accessible immersive content. The player has been developed by exclusively relying on web-based technologies, so only a web browser is required to make use of it. Once accessed, the initial web page allows the user to choose the language, activate the desired settings, and navigate between the available videos. For each video, the cover, the language of its main audio, and the available access services are displayed. Once choosing a video and pressing play, media playout starts. When using the iMac player, the user has the freedom to explore around the 360 degree area. The player includes a user interface comprised of menus and graphical elements to enable playback control, a personalised presentation of the access services and additional settings. The UI can be opened by looking down for a short period of time, by issuing consecutive clicks and can also be opened via voice control. This eliminates the need for a permanent graphic element, which may break immersion. The UI provides a full set of features via the appropriate controls. The execution of commands is confirmed visually. In addition, voice recognition and spoken feedback can also be enabled for the most important commands. Voice control is important as otherwise blind users would be unable to control the player. The iMac player has been designed to be as accessible as possible for all access service users. The UI can be enlarged during media consumption to be more accessible for low sighted users. The iMac player provides solutions to two key challenges for the presentation of access services in 360 degree environments. On the one hand, Graphical elements are always represented on screen within comfortable fields of view. The size and layout of this safe area have been determined via user tests. On the other hand, the location of media content outside the field of view is communicated to the user by means of immersive audio formats and visual indicators. This allows guiding the users towards the target speakers and important actions in the scene. Next, the specific presentation features for each access service are described. All these features have been derived from requirements gathered via user-centric research activities conducted in the project. The iMac player supports two presentation modes for subtitles. On the one hand, subtitles can be attached to the associated speakers or to specific positions in the 360 degree area. On the other hand, subtitles can be presented always centered in the field of view, regardless of whether the related objects and actions in the 360 degree area are. If the related objects and scenes are out of the user's field of view, specific guiding mechanisms are required to prevent the users missing relevant parts of the story. The player implements three guiding methods. One, arrows. Two, a radar. And three, an auto-positioning mode. Other personalization features are available for subtitles, such as the language, size, position, and background effects. The presentation of easy to read subtitles is also supported. Sign language video can also be presented for different languages and with adjustable sizes, positions and guiding methods just like for subtitles. A key innovation of iMac is that it has specified standards compliant solutions to be able to dynamically show and hide the sign language window based on the signer's activity. This can contribute to a high immersion, avoiding the presentation of add-on video when no signer interpretation is required. The player also provides audio description services, commonly known as AD, by using immersive audio formats. A key element of the iMac project is the use of 3D audio, which allows sound to be placed anywhere around the user. This not only allows a more immersive experience for blind and partially sighted people, but gives an audio describer more options in how they present the AD. In particular, three audio placement modes are supported. The player provides support for secondary AD tracks, e.g. related to specific regions or objects in the 360 degree area. It also provides support for independent volume settings for the AD and main audio tracks. As the user interface occupies a significant part of the field of view, a preview feature has been added to allow the user to directly check how the current visual settings look like, without having to close the menu. The player can be run on a range of platforms from PC, smartphones and tablets to head-mounted displays using different operating systems. The player also supports different interaction modalities, 
like via the mouse, keyboard, touchscreen, gyroscope, VR controls, or even via voice. The player provides support for multi-screen scenarios, so that immersive and accessible content can be consumed on companion devices, enriching traditional TV services. The implemented solutions are compliant with current TV standards, like hybrid broadcast broadband TV, HBB TV.